Hello guys in YouTube land. This is Randy the Dancer and I'm back on the third day of our Halloween installment of my Halloween collection. And I don't know if I numbered them last time. Yes, yesterday they were 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so we're keeping track right now, right? So 158, 159, and 160. This is 161. He is Mummy Bear. I did get him in store. I was smart enough when I started collecting the set to grab him right away. Because he is just great, isn't he? I mean, I love the green in his ears and his eyes to make him look like he's an undead which is the kind of the feature for our series today is the undead. And I love the fact they put these little tassels. Well, that's his tag, right? But these little tassels to show that he's coming undone a little bit. His heart is exposed. It's so cool. And because I was very much into putting sounds or sands or something in them, make them unique. He, again, was one of my Star Wars bears, believe it or not. He was dressed up. But because I did find enough bears to fill that set with my Care Bear set, which you saw last week, I decided to... Uh, just let him show his glory because he was all covered up in a costume. And he really is in his own costume. It's all he needs is the wrappings. Oh, and there's the green feet to accent it, pull it all together. But I put this in him. I know, it's Ghostbusters. But you know what? I love that theme. It's iconic. He's undead. I feel like it works. I mean, really, he's white, he's cute, he's adorable. And he dances. He's a dancing mummy. So... Ghostbusters. So I just love him. So that's my 160th bear. Isn't he 61st bear? Isn't he awesome? Which then goes to the other one that I bought at the same time. Here's Vampire Bear. Now, isn't he so cool? Like, just from his facial expression, he's got that scowl, like he's looking dead through you. Like, I'm going to bite you. His, oh wow, I just lost a shoe. That sometimes happens. These shoes don't like to stay on. Like he's always kicking them off just like any other kid. I love the green eyes because it's perfect for a vampire, right? And his best buddy is Batty, which you saw yesterday. That's his buddy he sits by on his shelf. They go together. And I love his blue fur and his off blue feet and nose and his hair. His hair is amazing. You can shape it any which way. And he looks really cool and dapper and suave. Or he could be like all crazy, right? He just looks cute no matter how you put him. He's just amazing. And this, he's one of the ones that does have a little tail, which is cool, which I was like, I said my pumpkin bear earlier, to have a tail to fill the hole. But he has a tail, and he has a classic vampire outfit. He's just so cool. Did I put anything in him? No, I think I'm going to add a heart to him next time. Um, so just a little FYI for all of you that do collect these and wondering if you didn't do something right the first time, they can actually reopen them and put a sound or a scent. You can just add something to it. Maybe you'd have money this time to do it, and the next time you want to add something special. You can always do that then because they can do it. And they also do uh, Build-A-Bear Hospital, basically. If they broke their back, like my nieces had a broken back, you take it back in there and they'll fix it for you. They're really good about that. Take care of your babies. And then for the final one today, and this is the, my favorite part of the collection, don't even hear that, right? Is this guy. Okay, so this is Zombie Bear. For all of you who are Build-A-Bear aficionados, this guy is... The Holy Grail. He is rare. He was out for a couple of years. He was their most popular cell. They even made a little mini him, which is absolutely adorable. He's got the same little markings. See, he's like all damaged right there. Someone like stabbed him or something. His heart is exposed like mummy bear because they're undead. Obviously, you have to have some. And then that little dead eye right there, which is cool. This is a new thing they did too in this season, in this year, and they started doing it ever since. They do a cockeyed smile now. That was something they did to kind of change the brand. Make it a little bit cooler, a little different, because uh, they originally had the full smile, but now they have the cockeyed smile, which is really cool. I love the green texture. I love how he has staph. Most people wouldn't know that, but he has staph infection. He has a skin infection. So cool. This guy normally retails. Oh, and there's a bite in his ear, which I think's nope, just on his ear. His little bite. He would have originally retailed for like twenty-eight dollars. Now you can find him online from a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. Like I said, he is the holy grail. Everybody wants him. I did find this one, luckily enough for me, for $35. So $7 worth retail, not a bad fit. I also had to wait for this one to come down in price because, like I said, the minis really go crazy. He is the one that I referenced that was like $50 bucks when I first saw him. And he's just a little mini. But I was so happy to get both of them together and put them in my collection, right? Because he would be nothing without his zombie baby. But as, a piece, as an extra little bit, we got Zombie Baby, a zombie dog. Now this dog, as you can see, is Chase, but he's not from the original set from Build-A-Bear. He's a different Chase. 
I don't know where this one comes from, so we won't show you the tag. But it's just to showcase the outfits. This is the actual zombie outfit. You know, different than the werewolf one I showed you yesterday. This is the actual one that he would that um, you would put on a zombie. They put on. They made it like a. They have the uh, the little animals, the pets. They're like cats and dogs. And that's how they kind of shaped it. So you can put it on your dog. That's what I did with this one, because he has a zombie costume and they have a little complete the zombie family. I think this costume is discontinued. You might be able to find it, but I haven't seen it recently, so you probably have to find it on eBay. Again, it's just as rare as the actual zombie bear is. And so, that's cool, right? Zombies and vampires and mummies, the undead. Best part of my collection, I think, sometimes, because they're just so adorable and so animated. But tomorrow, we will show you the final set of my Halloween collection. And for all of you going out tonight, be safe. Don't drink and drive, right? And hopefully tomorrow you have an amazing Halloween. We'll see you then. Later.